Cheers. We good? Everybody good? Yes, yeah, sir. we're chilling. I feel we're like we're chilling. having an intervention here, Fulvies. I'm looking straight at you. <laughs> Damn. Tell me, me how you really feel. I'll tell you how I really, really, really feel. Chris, jump in. Mediate this for us. <laughs> Man, it's Stop the like, cameras. It's also like podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. How we do, you, you know? Yeah. We don't miss. We never miss a Monday. And we're not starting to in this beautiful year of 2024. To my left, we got Jess Mirna sitting in with us. Thank you so much for coming unexpectedly. I know hey. you just said <laughs> you weren't prepared for this, but none of us are prepared. Mm-hmm. We got Jose No Way yeah. in the house, the strongest, strongest guy you've ever met in your life. <gasps> and we got the emotional Mr. Pepe in the house. Emotional, that, nah, emotional nah, nah, never. <laughs> Look, never. Pepe is emotional, but he'll tell you how it is, and he doesn't give a fuck how you feel after it. I'll make Sorry. you cry. And you won't give a fuck after And I'll piss you off. At the same time, <laughs> yeah. But you know how we run an internal podcasts just with our our friends, with our our with the purpose. So when we run these podcasts, it's more of a let's attack topics, situations that we've gone through, we've seen, and we kind of experienced in a bit. So we kind of have a more or less background of hey, this is how we feel or how we felt. So it doesn't come with a man. I think I'll feel this way because when someone someone says I think I feel or would have felt. But you didn't feel that way. So yeah. how do you really? I really feel. How do you really feel? So, you know, I I love when when you host this for us and you have your questions for us. Dude, he's got like twenty look questions. Right there. Nah, look, 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 look. It is thirty-four. Thirty-four. I was like, wait, bop, what? Bop, bop. So go ahead, pop. So the first one, we don't know a lot about you. We just met you not too long ago. Now we go. So literally. I was, I was just, you know, we're friends. We're friends. Yes. Met you a little while ago. Just we're good. Everybody you, don't got, good. you don't gotta say how long ago. No. What's one okay, thing most right. people don't know about you, and what do most people misunderstand about you the most? Wait, can you repeat the question again? Yeah. What's one thing most people don't know about you, and what do most people misunderstand about you? Um, I feel like a lot of people what they don't like. I keep forgetting the questions. I'm like nervous at the same time. It oh, trust happens. me, it happens so often. Well. The first time us. it happened to us, it was yeah. like, "Hey, you're gonna be on it." I'm like, "What?" Yeah. What's one thing that no they one really know knows about, about you Damn. or understand about you? Damn. Honestly, I feel like personally, a lot of people think I'm like a very bubbly person and like, "Oh my gosh, she like knows everyone, and like hangs around with so many people." But like, literally, like in my alone time, my Monday to Friday is like me, myself, and I. And it's like, I'm very closed off. I'm very, very, like, overprotective now of my space. And I feel like not a lot of people know that because they just think I'm, like, this bubbly person. And they yeah. see what they see, but they don't know me, like, behind closed doors, personally. Does you something know, like, change that for you to be more to yourself? Um, honestly, um, I think what, was the, like, the, what made me change was losing my dad last year in December. So we're literally around this time. So I think like that really gave me like a whole like three like like a whole twist of like how to view life, how do I view my family, how do I view my friends, who's really there for me, and who's gonna be there for me, even like if it's like a friendship or a relationship or like even like my my, my like my, my brother. Like it's like it's hard to like have that balance and like see that new life change because you know we don't have him anymore. Yeah, he was no. our he was our main guy. So it's like. Not having that and having to relearn how to move with life now without him is it's very different. But honestly, it's only made me stronger. Honestly, yeah. How'd you how'd you find that strength though? Because losing someone, losing someone isn't easy, and especially losing someone that meaningful and close to you. Yeah, it's it's reckoning. It it kills you. It brings you to the lowest of the low. So how'd you find that strength in? Honestly, like, I know where I've hit my lowest point in life, like, a long time ago with, like, depression and, like, not wanting to talk to anyone. And it's a it's a shitty feeling. It's a very shitty yeah. feeling. And, like, I'm 24 now. I have my life semi together, kind of, but I'm still growing as a person. And I'm, like, do I want to still continue? Do I want to go back to that 
to ground zero again, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Like, do I really want to see myself back to where I was, you know, a long time ago? No, like, and I feel like now that I, you know, yeah, like grieving and losing someone, especially a parent, fuck, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, there's no words in how to even tell someone like, oh, this is how it is. Because for everyone, it's different. But for me, I think like what's kept me like, like strong is just like knowing that I'm the oldest sibling and like I have my brother to like who looks up to me and like also like my cousins and like basically everyone is like you know like oh she's getting her shit together like she's doing good and I'm like yeah it's what I'm trying to do and I'm pretty sure that's what my dad would have wanted at the same time you know and I think that's something he's always told us is like keep your head up and just keep pushing because that's all you can really do because at the end of the day you're creating your own life like and it doesn't matter what anyone tells you or who is around you, literally. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a way, huh? What right? A way. What, what a, a way, way, to, the, way to go. Way to go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nah, I think that's a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful yeah. uh, way to interpret everything you are growing into being. And, you know, again, this podcast, man, it's how we do. People know us. Mm -hmm. We, we talk about the real life stuff that we all go through. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can't, you can't sugarcoat this at all. So I mean that that's definitely one thing that people may not know about you and yeah. we didn't I, know that. Yeah, we yeah. didn't know that, you know. I we, mean, a lot of my friends I took a really big like step back where I very now have like very small amount of friends that I hang out with, like two or yeah. three friends. Or sometimes I don't even hang out with anyone for the month and I'm just like, sorry, like no You need that time to yourself. Yeah, and it's just <laughs> like, Oh, I know like you're going through your own thing. Like, no, like I genuinely want someone to tell me like, hey, like, how are you doing? Instead of just trying to make plans and trying to do like, you know what you said earlier yeah. with them, like, you know, I don't want someone to just hit me up when it's time to go out the Saturday or something friends. like that. Yeah. And like, yeah. I've had right. people like that. And I've in like literally last year and I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to go into that. Like, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to deal with what I have going on in my life because it's my life and nice. no one else is going through it. Yeah. But whoever wants to be there, they'll be there. But in the way where now how I view it and how I want my friends to be with me. But it's not the whole, let's go drink, like let's go plan this. Like now I want to have a reason to go out because a lot of the times back then I was not having reasons to go out. Like I know I'm 24, but I feel like my mind compares to last year and like maybe the last couple of months are like very like shifted growth, to like... Man. Yeah, and it's, it's growth, and I feel like I'm only still growing. Still. And it's crazy, right? Because you, it's one of those things where you used to go out a lot, yeah. and as messed up as it sounds, we don't know when we're going to lose our parents. That's yeah. time that you could have been spending with your parents yeah. if yeah. only you had known, you know? 100%. Yeah. It's time that could be spent with their family. So yeah. it's crazy. But, but something that we don't know about you. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the like you guys known me. You know, like, I'm very to myself. I feel like I can relate to her a lot just because I'm very to myself. I have friends who hit me up to go out just for the, the weekend or whatever. Or um, I'm obviously, I'm a coach. And then they just hit me up saying, hey, what should I? Uh, they ask me for questions and stuff. Yeah. But they never ask me things for myself. Yeah. So it's like, that's why I'm alone most of the time. Because I'd rather be by myself than people who don't understand me. Nice. So... Especially giving, like, your energy. Like, you don't want to give your energy when you're not even receiving the energy you want. So it's like... That's why I'm so close to Dusko, Pepe. Like, they they reciprocate the energy back. You know? yeah. I love Always. You. Love you. Love you. Love you and I hate you guys. Because, right? I know. We're going to fight each other <laughs> after. <laughs> nah, I think that's what it is. It's just people think that we're this we've always been this person. But <clears throat> realistically, hey, it took me a while to get to this point. It took me a while to become confident and self-aware of all my surroundings. But don't get it twisted. I, if I need to protect my peace and my and myself I, whenever I, I will, but I'm not I'm not the same as I got to make you happy. Like I said yeah. earlier with mm -hmm. uh, with Jay, I used to be the, I want to make everybody happy and protect everybody, but hey, I matter, I'm important. I come first now because mm -hmm. if I don't come first then there's no way in how that I can reciprocate this love to somebody else when shit, I don't even love myself or take care of myself. So I can't tell you and sell you the vision of, okay, I'm going to love you. I'm going to mm -hmm. take care of you. And I'm going to, and I'm going to do this for you when 
I don't even do it for myself. So yeah, you're just gonna lose yourself if you try and please everybody else. And yeah, so wait, are you the hell? I'm just talking about next question. <laughs> What's what is something that people don't know about you? Yeah, what is no, I think I've said it countless times that I'm actually really, really, really shy and insecure. Like when I show up to these places, it's it's I show up and it's like, hey, yeah. mm-hmm. time to act. Let's it's go. Intimidating. It's super intimidating, especially yes. when you feel you don't belong in these places. Yeah. It's wild. I personally would have never expected that from you, honestly. You see what I'm saying? It's like you wouldn't you know. So like straight, like it's like you do it naturally. But a year and a half ago, I was super shy. I couldn't even answer a question. That's yeah. what's wild. That's me right now. It's like so it's because really, <laughs> it's, it's cold. It's not. It's not. It's, it's cold. cold. Yeah, it's, it's cold. cold. <laughs> it's not my nerves. Hey, Ali said it was gonna. The weather was gonna be ninety, and it's like sixty. So mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. What's uh, the next question? Huh? Sir. Is there anything in your life recently that you expected or that you didn't expect? Oh, boy. Oh. Expected. Mm. Expected, expected or expect. didn't. No, I'll go. Either or. I didn't expect that my business would be doing so well at this time where last year I'm like, damn, how am I going to afford all these presents? And now I can just sit back and be like, I know exactly when I'm going to get you and I'm going to get it for you. I don't have mm. to think. I don't have to look at my bank account no more. Even though it's like not, you know, all the way up there, but yeah. I don't have to be like, damn, I'm going to be negative right now. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I didn't expect my business to be where it is right now. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. That's working huge. hard. You've been working hard. Yeah. Hell yeah. Countless yeah. days, hours, months, years. So this wasn't. This oh, wasn't sacrifices. A lot of them, yeah. Off. I yes, think sir. that's a, <clears throat> to sum that part of it. You get to show your hard work and all your, your trust in the process by having something to give your little brother, your mom, mm-hmm. your dad that, hey, this is our list. And it's how you said, instead of looking at the account, like, damn, who can I get and what could I get? Mm-hmm. Now it's like, yo, you, you want it? Fuck it is what it is. All with the budget, but you know. <laughs> it's like you you can always extend the budget. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. There yeah, it is. Man. Congratulations, for real. That, Thank you. That's something that's huge and accomplishment that should us as people been in this industry – it's knowing how much it took for us to even have a good month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like, I feel the same way. Like, man, this time last year, I was like, damn. Now it's like, yo, we booked our trip. We're, hey, this is you, this is you. Now it's like, wow. But it took us so much. So one thing for me that I didn't expect is to have total peace in my life of I can control what I can and what's not controllable is let go. And I can't control that at all. So I got to let it go. So it transitions into being happy. How we said before, transitions into my happiness. Are you feeling? I'm happy. Everything's in control. Everything's peaceful. Everything's good. But it took me to go through the storm. That is, it seemed like endless, but yet I made it. Now it's the, here's the rainbow. After the whole storm that, that happened throughout the whole year and, and the last couple months, here's the rainbow. And here's that little piece of grace that you deserve. And now, what do you do with it? Well, here's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to do right by it. I, I owe it to myself and everybody that gave me the opportunity to be here to, hey, I got to do right by it. It can't be the, can't be the same as before. Like it, has to be a, it has to be a shitty feeling for you not to feel that way again. Yeah. Like you have to make sure, like, this is not going to happen again. Yeah. And you got to make sure everything in your power to make it not be that way anymore. Yeah, not to go back to who we used to be. We can't go back, right? Yeah. You, it cost you so much. No, literally. It's cost all of us so much. So yeah. it's like you can't go back to who you were because at that point, it's like you go back. Why did I give up? You're doing a disservice to yourself and the people you care about. Yeah. And the people that you hurt in the process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah too. Yeah. As much as, you know, you may have also times of like, uh, temptation of going back to that person because it's a lot easier or you won't. People aren't disappointed in that person anymore because they expected it. Mm-hmm. I owe it to me and owe it to all the people that did put me forward when they believed in me and I didn't yeah. to not go back. So that's where prayer comes in. That's where talking self-dialogue happens of, hey, you went through all this. Don't do it. Don't go back. Don't give in. It's it's. I know it's tempting. I know it's a lot easier. But look how far you came already in a short amount of time by just switching the mindset. You switch the mindset and boom, look at this. Like how great life is. And right now, life is great. Yep. It is. It's going well. Oh, man. It's amazing. 
100 miles an hour and it don't stop. That's what's crazy, though. But it's going good nonetheless. Nonetheless, man. That's definitely one of the... Uh, sum up. You owe it to you. Nobody else. No, no one before. No one ahead. You owe it to yourself to be happy, to be at peace, and to literally put yourself first. Anybody that doesn't like it, keep moving. Mm-hmm. We good. Damn. Mic drop. We, we just dropped hard, man. All right, deep. where you at, Pop? What? You didn't answer the question. Oh, you didn't, this, you didn't answer didn't the question. Like, what was, <laughs> the, what was the, question? the question? Nah, she forgot about it on purpose. She said, ah, oh, no way. <laughs> What's been going on, on in your life? Uh, damn, see, I already messed up too. I forgot. No, what's been going on in your life recently that you expected or didn't expect? Uh, for sure, being a lot more happier with myself, especially with like the stuff I've went, I've gone through in the last couple of months and year, and then like also like getting my teaching job. So, because I'm also a teacher, so nice. yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm a teacher. Um, I've had the greatest support with them too, and helping like them helping me like reapply for like my masters. So okay, like, okay. that's in the process right now. So yeah, so I think it's just for. a lot of those big three things that I was looking forward to last year and I couldn't cause I had to put a big pause, but I think now ending the year, I'm like full send ready. Like hopefully I get in next year and like, we'll see where it leads me. If it doesn't happen, then like we're going to keep trying again. You have so, to keep it trying, right? Yeah. Can't yeah. give up. Yeah. Question number three. Question number three. Is it number three? What excites you the most about life? Do you have any personal and or business plans you're looking forward to? Knowing what's next. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing what's coming and what we're capable of. Um, that's the excitement. Knowing how much we've done and knowing what's coming and knowing, hey, we're in the position to win. I'm ready. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. If it happens, cool. And if it doesn't, hey, fuck it. We got here. I can't be mad at the situation that didn't happen. I'm just, mm-hmm. oh, shit, we're in a position to win. Man, we made it. Now, we just have to deliver. And for whatever reason, shit outside of our hands doesn't work out. It is. But how we told Sour Apple, if it's for us, it'll be for us. If not, let's walk away. You know? So- not every, not everything that is thrown at us is for us. Keep that a bug. Not everything that they give you or, or tell you it's for you, it's going to be for you. There's going to be moments and times you have to make that decision of, hey, you know what? I'm, I shouldn't go. Mm-hmm. Or you know what? Ah, it's, it, it's not who I am. It's cool. Know your place. Know your value. Know what's your purpose. And if for whatever reason that opportunity doesn't mean all those things, just walk away. The next big thing is coming. So that's the excitement is now we're in a position to we to win. deny some things. Yeah, like how you said, we're in a position to we're like, yeah, our problems that we used to have are not the same ones we have now, but look at where we're at now after all that work. Mm-hmm. So imagine another year of the mentality that we have now and the mindset that we have right now internally, mentally, physically. Oh, man, yeah, I'm not ready for it. You're not? Yeah. That's my excitement. Sorry, I had to like. Ah, he was excited to say that <laughs> one. He was like, "I'm excited." Hell yeah! I think everybody that's worked so hard in their business or in, in their life in general mm-hmm. is excited for a new year. You know, we get into the position of we get into a new year or New Year's year, and man, I hope this year is a lot. But well, what are you doing to actually make it better than the previous like, year? Right? Why mm-hmm. did you end so bad? And how did you start it? Yeah. Now, if you started the same way you did last year, are you really gonna? plan out a successful year or it's like how did you do what well, how did you do so so well and how can you do better yeah like always keep improving yourself yeah taking little my note little notes all right did this this work this didn't work this didn't work you know analyzing not just your surroundings and your team but analyzing you what decisions did you make internally that affected not just you but your your squad your team or the people around you you know i took we took time away from our family to build well, this year coming, since we're in a better position, well, I'm going to take my time to be there with them. Now, it's like, okay, this wasn't last year, but we made the groundwork. Teaching, everything. Now we're here. So it's like, now what? Here we are. Run this. Definitely. <clears throat> Damn. What are you excited about? <laughs> well, oh, honestly, <laughs> I've been told this so many times because I'm also very into fitness also. Like, Monday to Friday, grind, 
literally right after work, straight to the gym. And my, what I wanted to start doing was start posting workout videos for women, you know, just to help, you know, help out and like help out the women and like, you know, also probably hopefully coach later down the road once I get more like adjusted to like posting videos, you know, getting to learn more about that environment and yeah. especially like how to help people. So um, I already get that on the side without like be charging them, but it's just like, I'm just being genuine because I really care for them and I really want what's best for them because I know what's best for me and I want the same for that person. Yeah. So it's like for sure next year, like I do want to like, start posting more videos about like how to work out what to do or even like just being also about like like mental health also like you know taking those little steps you know like i'm very to myself but i want to step out of it to like also help others who also feel the same way as me so it's like you know helping that little community out well, I think this is a one step to it. This really was. This was. You are uh, breaking out of your shell. You're helping people. <laughs> All right, Just so a little bit. You, you said right now about mental health. So what's that piece of advice that you would give Oof. to someone that is struggling? That everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And right now what you're dealing with, you're going to think about it in a couple months. And you're going to look back and be like, damn, I was worried about that. Like that's that's the thing like let's just keep going so it's just like don't ever give up that's all like for me i feel like that's if i could if i would have been able to tell that person that i was dealing with like a year ago myself yeah. oh she probably would have not believed me but like looking at looking at myself now it's like yeah. oh no you you really said it's gonna be okay like we still push through and we didn't let each, we didn't let each other go so yeah. we're still going so yeah, yeah. wow who, who else did answer that, that question? I didn't you. answer that. Yeah, you. you. Yes. I'm just excited for the next year, the whole year. Uh, this 2023. I didn't expect any of this. So now I'm excited to see what 2024 has to offer, you know, and like what opportunities will present or will be presented to me and the group. So. What do you have in mind, though? See, that's the thing. I never expected to be here to begin so with. So you, whatever opportunity. Things not expecting how we've said before yeah you can't be disappointed if you don't expect things so that's how i mean i'll i'll take <laughs> every opportunity that comes its way i'm not saying no to anything anymore yeah. so whatever may come i will be open to doing it i almost said no to this <laughs> i'm not lying i don't hey, know you were saying no to i don't know just like saying talking. <laughs> Dude, like, talking. just to the talking part, the talking part yeah. <laughs> because you're shy yes you're not that shy i know no. it takes i think once, once people get rolling it's just like but if you at one point feel like you are that person that you are capable of helping someone in some way shape or form step into that light throw yourself out there you know it's uh if you tell a mexican parent how do they teach their kids to swim well they throw you in the fucking pool yeah figure it out <laughs> whether you're, you're gonna learn how to swim or you're gonna drown and they're gonna help you but <laughs> at least like you're trying to get that out of the way but it's the same thing when you ride a bike how do you learn how to ride a bike on two wheels well, you got to take care, of, take off those training wheels, and you may fall, you may not, but you got to get back on. And once you do it, you're like, ah, oh, shit, I'm good. Here I am, patrolling the streets. And it's just like knowing you are capable of this. And when you get that little mm -hmm. piece of like, hey, you are, this is, I'm going to show it, here you are. You know, this, you want to help people? Hey, yeah. this is a perfect example of how you're going to be able to help someone by expressing your voice. Yeah. The voice that you have is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Your mouth is very powerful in the words that come out and what you say and how it can affect people. Yeah. So you got to be mindful. Oh, yeah. But you got to defend yourself at all times. <laughs> Don't let no one say anything about you that you can't say. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's right. Oh, man. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Out of here. <laughs> it's like we're done. All right, question number four. Where are we at? We're at 24 minutes. All right. I think we can. Gonna, yeah. Let's continue it? Yeah. Yeah, one more in there. What inspired you to pursue your current career or passion? Oh. And is there a dream project that you'd like to undertake in the future? Hmm. <laughs> inspired me is I want to make an impact in this world before I leave. Some way, shape, or form, I want to be remembered for what I did do and not what I could have done. Unfortunately, the 
the richest place in this world is a cemetery because of all those dreams that go down with it and different ages, right? From babies, infants to young, young teens, adults, and even older. All those people that pass, they had a dream at one point in their life and they had a vision at one point in their life, but yet we're here. My thing from my point A of being born to point B of leaving, whatever, whenever that is, God protect me until 100 years from now. What did I do to help and be remembered? Not, oh, man, he should have. Oh, he did. He could have done. Oh, no, I did do this. So that's an inspiration of helping. I want to help. And luckily, blessfully, we have a business and a platform that is able to have that by how? What everybody does every day. You conversate. You have a conversation. Yep. It's just our conversations are elevated because the power of free promo, social media. We use the free promo. We've been consistent and we add value and we've been able to help. So I think that's what it is. Point A to point B, what are you doing in between? And be remembered, not be forgotten, you know? What about you? What inspired you to pursue your current career? Honestly, probably the people I've surrounded myself with. I've always surrounded myself with older people when, like, growing up also, and especially, like, the environment, like, my parents placed me in where it's, like, I, like, as for me, like, becoming, like, a teacher, like, I've had, like, amazing teachers, like, teach me, and I'm just, like, damn, like, that really, like, inspires me to want to take on that role also because I feel like something in me has, like, oh, I want to help people, but I want to do more, not just teaching, though, and it's, like, okay, what else can I do? I'm into fitness. A lot of my friends are like, dude, like, post the videos. Like, you got it. Like, you really need to start doing it. And I was like, you know what? Like, I really am. And I remember one person, I would tell them, I was like, oh, when are you going to start? I was like, oh, I'm going to start in January. They're like, why January? Start now. And I was like, okay. So I recently started posting some videos of me deadlifting and stuff. And I was like, okay, like, this is, this is interesting. We're going to keep playing with it. But, yeah, I think for me it's just helping people. So. It's like that saying, day one or one day. It's like, yeah. it could be day one right now. It doesn't matter if Maybe. it's Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday. You just, just post. Do yeah. it right now. You know, just day one or one day. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Right, here we go. What was the question? Oof. Sorry. What inspired you to pursue your current career or passion? What? Okay, okay. Finish it. No, no, no. Continue. <laughs> uh, I think being bullied and unresourceful when I was younger I always wanted to be accepted and I wasn't as a little, as a young kid. And I feel like with fitness and just like coaching my, um, myself with football studying and um, fitness in general, I just wanted to give back to people who didn't have that as well. So that's why I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why you coach as well. Like you want to yeah. give back what you know and what you thought you didn't get when you were younger. I wish I had someone like me at, at that age. To yeah. direct me or tell me more about actual life than yeah. than just that hey help. well once you graduate you go to school and you have an opportunity to be great and like yo really like they didn't really care about you yeah. I feel and like we care about the people we coach or the people we have in our lives right I think now. a harsh reality too is how many people that were trying to teach us didn't live didn't live out their dreams oh, because yeah. of X amount of reasons but too. yet they're telling us to live out their dream I'm sorry I understand that. X, Y, and Z happen, but how can you have a voice on my decision or my life when look at what you're doing? I'm not saying it's bad, but you can't tell me about a big dream, big company when you can't, you don't even have one. Or you didn't even try to. You didn't even try it, you know? So it's like, I, I love that because I do coach because I want to help them. And I always tell, and I'm very transparent, we may win 10 games, we may win, may win one. My goal and my actual go in this is not to win games i want to win at life yeah are you mentally okay are you physically okay are you, what's your plan after this oh i don't want to go to college cool let me show you how i did it yeah but let me tell you how hard it was for me not to go to college and let me like going not going to college yeah you have going with your friends you work working at a five you go out cool well look yeah in the life that i live now i'm working three jobs and oh my god are you serious <laughs> well yeah but this is a life that I chose, you know, and the harsh reality is I don't know percentages or anything. Maybe, maybe, you know, but how many people go to a 
junior college compared to a actual Cal State or university and how many people actually finish at that divine time of entering within the four years instead of stopping going bad you know yeah. people have kids people have people they got to take care of it is what it is but it's like there's never a design time and i think that's what the what this is is understanding like hey it's not linear life and success is not linear it's, it's like not- you're not supposed to know what you want to do for the rest of your life right after high school yeah you're like 17 18 years old if you do great and if yeah you if don't, you do yeah but it uh i think uh um garvey he was like you're 30 and you don't know what you're doing you're at the perfect time you got time. Yeah, you got time. But we're so in a rush. Like, I think how Jay was saying, like, oh, that's what you want to do? Well, what else are you doing? It's like, wait, why the fuck are you judging me when you don't even have nothing going on? But it's, again, like, it's what we want in life. It's not compared to what everybody else wants. Yeah. What everybody here in this room wants may not all be the same, but we might have a similarity of we just want to win. We want to create a opportunity for other people to win. That goes back to like how we said about what we want, we're trying to do this year, moving and and getting a, a place where we can help others like us. And when we we started, we did get help. You mm-hmm. know, shout out Joaquin, man, that day in, day he out, week out, after yeah. week, helped us. And now where we're at, it's like, yo, we need someone like that. We need to be that person for the other people that want to do something in our sense. Mm-hmm. Not too expensive, not too cheap, not to just superficial it's like hey just the opportunity genuinely like how you coach hey what are your goals what are your plans how can we reach them together exactly and it's just that so i love that dog hell yeah and what me and me and jose coached together one year (laughs) we didn't win the game but we coached (laughs) yep it was a good time it was a good time (laughs) they had fun though that's all that matters that's all that matters we look good in red tucked in (laughs) shirts and and their slacks flow polos dude i was me with volleyball this year but we won one game though there you go you won you won won. that's all you got to say you almost won (laughs) (laughs) we did we got fired that season that's that's it (laughs) we got fired that season but it's okay it's good dude we did we learn yeah i learned never go back oh (laughs) now what inspired me it was more of a, I didn't want to let, well, my passion at the moment is currently being a part of the pod, realistically. So what inspired me was just more of a not wanting to let you guys down initially, right? Initially, that's how it started. Yeah. It was more of a, all right, I'll show up because I don't want to let Luis down. I don't want to let the team down. Mm-hmm. But the more that I've been on it, now it's more of a, I don't want to let myself down. Yeah. I don't want to keep messing up and passing up on opportunities because I keep thinking that I'm not good enough or worthy of things happening. So that's kind of what inspired me and motivates me to keep going every single weekend i show up here oh yeah find the motivation within yourself you have to don't get it don't get it twisted and don't mistake it you cannot find motivation from other people you can't you You can't you can't you can be inspired cool be like them but your motivation comes within you Mm -hmm. you have to find it from the moment you wake up you have to find it your morning routine through your daily conversations that you have with yourself and your habits if you're not breaking those bad habits that you have, I'm sorry. You're not going to stay motivated. But the days you don't want to show up, as corny as it sounds, you have to fucking show up. You don't want to post on a Monday because you were out on a Sunday all day long. Well, I'm fucking sorry. You got to do it. Yeah. People counting on you. And you count yourself. It's um, what's that uh, famous uh, Kobe, Kobe uh, saying? But he was like, every, every time before a season, I make a contract with myself. What do I need to do? Writes it all down, signs it. All right, now I'm in contact with myself. This is what's mandatory all year long. No, non-negotiable. Once you start negotiating with that, it falls apart. And then everything, it's a trifecta, the domino effect, one after the other. It's like me at the gym. I was going to go in. <laughs> ah, I'm going to get some sleep. I'll go tomorrow. Never happened. <laughs> And then I hear from Jose. It's been then two hear, months. It's been two months now. But. <laughs> Let's go for working on mental health. We're working on mental health. Hey, the new year. Next year, maybe. New year, new me. New year, new me. 30-day <laughs> okay. challenge. 30-day okay. challenge. Day one or one day, what? Exactly. Exactly, <laughs> exactly bro. <laughs> Come on. I'm starting it. I'm talking about you, not me. I mean, I'll, right, I'll try. I'll last try. last question too. over here. Last question over here. Can you reflect on a mistake, challenge, or biggest failure that taught you something valuable about yourself? Mm. Oh. Doesn't have a to mistake, be this year. You said. A mistake. Probably being too nice and also not speaking up growing up. 
like how you said, you know, being insecure and stuff like that, like maybe something like that, I would say for myself. So, yeah. How'd you, what's an example of when you needed to speak up? Damn, honestly, when it comes like you interrupting my peace, because now it's like, you know what I don't like. You're doing it, and it's still going on. When is the change happening? And then, like, no. Like, I think that's when I started, like, speaking up and saying, like, no. Like, even with friends, family, my sibling, and, you know, my mother, <laughs> it's like there there has to be that limit right there. Yeah. Got to the set things. boundaries, yeah. Yeah, you to set boundaries. That's huge. So I felt like I was just too nice where I was always giving and also, you know, as aside from, like, my life, but also friends, it's like, being insecure and stuff like that and not really speaking up oh because i don't want them to think about or what is it that they're gonna say about me for speaking up about you yeah. know so things like that so it's like yeah but i feel like now it's a, it's a lot different so we speak up now and i'm very old protective of my peace and who i give it to and who i want to give it to also so it's like yeah. selective you have to very. be selective right hell yeah have to. especially now if there's People that want to abuse and want to use that that kindness that you give everybody and they abuse it and, and they'll use it until you got nothing left. And then once you start protecting it, they tell you, oh, you change. You became <laughs> arrogant. You became an asshole. You became, well, fuck. All those times that you used me and you, mi you mistreated me, now I'm becoming an asshole because now I'm not allowing you to? Yeah. How does that work? Now where where's that medium in there? But again, people will look at you different and look at you funny when mm. you're not, a, they're not, you're not allowing them to handle you. Um, I heard it literally, ah, fuck, yesterday. And it was, people hate difficult people. People say you're a difficult person to work with, but you're only difficult to work with because you don't allow them to use you and make you look like a fool. That's what they call you difficult. Because you're not easy to use. So, really, it's that's up to you. You want to call me difficult? Well, cool. Well, it's because I'm not allowing you to use me in the way you thought you were going to use me. And But if that's what you feel, then it's cool. But sometimes it's like it goes hand in I think it correlates, right? Like the being misunderstood. Mm -hmm. You know? Your uh, values and morals and vision may not be similar to what our old friends used to be like. Yeah. And, you know, not like even new people. Everybody you meet, they may not see life the way you see it. All right, cool, dog. Like, it's it's life. It's just not always supposed to be uh, 100%. I think that's what the di diversity of our, our team is. We all have different backgrounds. We all have different uh, beliefs and, and visions. But we meet in the middle at one point of like, hey, this is what, this is our goal. This is what we want. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the people that don't align with it, Gotta go. Yeah, different direction. People come, go. people go. Yeah. That's right. Shit, man. That was it? That's all the questions you had? No, I mean, it's I mean, 2 p.m. Oh, boy, yeah, we gotta yeah, go. It's 2 p.m. We it's gotta go. <laughs> but I'll answer it. I'll answer it because you didn't answer it either. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go I'll ahead. reflect on the on the biggest mistake. Uh, probably putting other people's beliefs, wants, and needs before my own. For years, I allowed their beliefs, wants, and needs to... Uh, affect my life pretty much every single time. Yeah. They told me they needed something, I would do it. They told me I wasn't good enough, I would believe them. So that's the biggest mistake that I've made, I guess, in the past. But it ain't happening no more. So yep. it's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Jose, speak the truth, fool. Speak it, it. Speak it. What was the question? Oh. <laughs> uh, can you reflect on a mistake, challenge, or biggest failure that taught you something valuable about yourself? Biggest failure. I feel like going off of what you said of like people telling me that I'm not good enough, that um, I wouldn't be able to achieve what I'm achieving. Like, yeah. a good one would be my family saying, oh, like, you need a job. You need a nine-to-five job. Well, I'm making the same thing as I had my nine-to-five corporate job that I had, and I'm able to do what I love instead of just dreading that 5 p.m. to come and, like, oh, I get to live my life now. Yeah. Well, I get to live my life and still uh, affect and impact people that I want to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your progress. And if you have any sort of doubt because of externals or within, overcome it. Because 
the best side of you and the best moment of your life is about to come. But you got to get over that that mountain of self doubt, not a little hill because that shit's yeah, it's a it's a mountain. It's, it's a mountain. It's a mountain. It's a mountain. And, and we got to overcome it. Yeah, <laughs> you may <laughs> fall back. You may times, fall back a couple times, but you got to get back up. <laughs> make sure you get up. But man, toast to life. As always, um, a toast to life is. One of the things that every Monday I want you guys to feel proud of the progress you made, whether it was small or huge, keep moving. It's not a, hey, you have to do something extravagant to take a toast to life. It's a, hey, you survived another week. Mm-hmm. You made small progress. You smiled here and there. You learned to love yourself here and there. That's that's a win. Stack up your small wins so we get to the biggest one and we take a toast to life there too. Yes, sir. Well, before we leave, oh. is there a quote? Is there a quote that you live by? We want the audience to know. Mm. It's time. This is your time. Tough Give us with something. Hmm. Damn. I don't Make it short and sweet. Like Make I it said super before. short and sweet. <laughs> Wait. Um, one day or day one. What's, uh, <laughs> That's your quote. That's what quote. is a lesson that your dad taught you? A lesson that my dad taught me. Oof. To be careful who you trust. Because some people you might think they like they're they're there for you, but next thing you know it's like oof, they just you thought they were real. It comes with friends, family, relationships, yeah. and I think that was like the biggest lesson that I grasp, and I think I will continue having till I teach my kids, and uh, yeah, and that's basically something. Oh, yeah. Shit, boys. Am I next? <laughs> yeah. You're going to end it. No, you have it, yeah. What's remember remember that you are never too old to create a new goal or dream a new dream. <laughs> <laughs> to walk off. <laughs> Damn, to walk off. Hey. That's it. That's it. Man, how come? <laughs> follow up. Well, man, you better follow up. Cause well, I can't. I already he did. already said it. He already <laughs> he said his quote. Come on now. Nah, he said that like 10 times already. That's He's my, that's really my quote. that's life the mo- that's my life quote. motto, right? That's my life motto. Life motto. You good, my boy. Man, a quote, a quote. Oh, fuck, man, I'm like struggling. I think it's I the first time. I actually have one. A go for it, please do. Yeah, yeah, please do. And the thing what I've been doing because since I'm a teacher, it's stressful. You know, we work with these kids and I love them and everything, but at the same time, I love my team that I work with. And what I've been doing is leaving sticky notes on like everyone's all the teachers desk and like i've i started doing it way before we got off to break so i only ended up doing it to like three teachers and i put daily reminder smile drink your water move your body remember why you started spread love and positivity and all right that's a good one that's a good one Damn, oh, he's struggling. He's, like, oh, struggling. <laughs> he's struggling right now. I think that's our first time. Quotes. <laughs> I think that's our first time. I see him nah, struggle. He's fighting. Um, nah, I think this is just. Uh, I love what Jay had said. Like you know, finding your 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 love, finding, um, and that it, it becomes with a great. It comes with. It starts. Sorry. It starts with finding someone, that complements your life and that makes you believe in yourself. You know, we find it within our friends. We find it within ourselves. But when you have that one person um, that you just, you waited all your life for, I think that's where you find that, wow, this is what I needed to skyrocket in this. So sometimes you meet someone and you just know from the first moment that you want to spend your whole life with them. Yeah. Yeah. It's that initial contact. It's that initial hello. It's that initial conversation. And, you know, we wouldn't be strong men without a strong woman and a stronger woman, which could be your partner or it could be your mother. It could be your grandma. But us men, you know, are only this because we had someone to lean on when we couldn't lean on nobody else. And who's that? That's your mom. That's your grandma. That's someone, a woman in your life that held it down for you when no one else did. So, got it. (laughs) 
A toast to life, guys. A toast, a toast to life. Baby. You already know how we do. Let's go. <laughs>